What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and I'm here to talk about this battery right here. This is a Sony NP-F series battery. Pretty standard, but it's got a special feature I wanna talk about in this video. But before we jump into it, let's roll that beautiful B-roll. Hey, welcome back everyone and thanks for stopping by. Now, if you are here, I'm assuming that you're some kind of a cinematographer, videographer, or just someone who's really interested in battery videos. Well, here we are. So this is a normal Sony NP-F series battery. Now there's nothing really unique about this in terms of the shape and the body. There's nothing really special going on here other than there are a few attributes I wanna talk about. Uh, number one, you've got a battery status indicator here where there's this little button, it'll tell you the battery life. Uh, additionally, and this is the big thing about this battery that I really dig right here, is it's got USB-A and USB-C, and that is actually what makes this battery incredibly cool for me. One of the things that I do is I travel out of state and often out of country. There's a lot of things that I'm considering. Um, I've yet to make a video, although I think about it all the time. I actually pack my entire cinema kit into a Shimoda bag as well as a Pelican 1510. So everything from microphones to lights to light stands, diffusion, batteries, anything and everything has to fit in that. Now, the reason I'm saying that is this video is for someone like me. Now, I'm not saying leave now because if you don't travel a lot, this is still a really great battery. But the reason that I bought this battery is because it's often challenging to bring chargers. Uh, chargers are, are really tough in that they take up space. Now you're saying, Chris, they don't take up that much space. Well, when you're trying to fit everything into a small Pelican, it becomes really challenging. You're saying, well, why don't you bring more gear? Well, when I'm doing this, I'm often in a safari truck. Um, there are other group members and there are limits to how much baggage that we can take. And more importantly, I have to lug it around with me. So whatever I bring kind of has to go with me everywhere I go. And uh, in a lot of countries, the more gear you have, um, the more of a, um, a target you become and more and also that some folks have sticky hands the, a lot of countries have great people but they're often in situations that it's just tempting so i try to only bring that which i can carry and keep my eye on so it's through that lens that i want to talk about this battery now i do have this amazing small rig um Sony battery where you could attach this to a camera. So when I actually do put this, uh, say with pair this with a camera, um, I actually use this to mount it to the camera with some kind of a, a rig system. I'm a big small rig fan. Um, and I put this in here. This is actually a USB-C charger as well. And that's the big difference. I actually read their Amazon webpage and they don't really want you using a actual NP battery charger when you're doing this. They want you to use the built-in USB-C. As Fortune would have it, that's exactly why I love this, because I'm moving a lot of my workflow, uh, whether it be V-mount, my LP, or my NP batteries, to be able to be USB chargeable, as well as dispersing power over USB-C. Uh, my goal really is to have the least amount of chargers possible, or bring one really good uh, charger with like four USBs, so that way I can connect things to it quickly and easily. And if you're on one data type, or connector type that makes it infinitely easier. The other big deal is that I'm often in vehicles where I have limited charging capability. So kind of pulling out cables and plates and all this stuff becomes really unattractive. Additionally, and this is what's great about this battery, is it actually does support charging from a power bank. And so that is one of the things when I go, I bring usually three or four V-mount so I can just 
sort of charge devices, whether it be phones or batteries or whatever, because the V-mounts often don't end up on my equipment. In the case of this NP battery, this is going into devices very similar to uh, this Armoron light. This is actually the lights that I take. I'm actually using an Armoron light here that has a plate that takes uh, two of these NP batteries. And so they're very popular for me because I'm often in places where there's not a power plug and I don't have the ability to lug around one of these amazing but very large sort of battery, you know, banks that are, are, you know, kind of unwieldy when you're traveling to another country or trying to get in a plane. So this uh, NP battery, of course, would slide into this and then I will point this off screen so I don't, there we go. Uh, and then of course you can power your lights. Now what's nice, nice about this particular Armoron light or aperture light, I should say, um, uh, it's both, you know, that you get it, Armoron aperture, it's the company that does lighting, uh, is that these lights are extremely bright, they're well controlled, and they only take one of these LP batteries. I've done an incredible amount of testing on these lights, and you can go at least an hour or so, uh, which is more than enough when I'm in the field. Now, another big thing to talk about this battery is it's 7,800 milliamps, so it's got a really long charge. This is not the only battery that I've tested. Um, there's a company, uh, Vemico, that I actually took with me last year. Um, so Vemico has a very similar feature where they do have uh, this really sturdy uh, plastic piece here for the USB-A, which you can see right here, as well as a little place for the USB-C. Um, now I did notice I wasn't able to get another pair of these. I don't know what the reasons for that was. That's actually why I went with this brand is because these weren't available. The other thing is I just love the color. Uh, I mean, it's really, it stands out. So if you're the only one using these types of batteries, uh, or, you know, you've kind of laid them around in an area that's a little darker, um, you know, that black is a pretty typical color and a lot of my stuff just sort of blends in. Orange really sticks out and, uh, it's one of my, uh, favorite colors, um, to, uh, to hold gear with. So. Anyway, this video was really about this really cool battery. If you're looking for a battery that will uh, charge via USB-C, and I don't know who that is, but maybe if you're watching this video, um, that's why you're here. I cannot recommend this battery enough. It's really solid. It charges relatively quickly. Um, now, I did notice uh, with a MacBook, I wanna say it was like an 85 watt charger, it did take something like four hours the first charge. Now, I've got to do some additional testing, but I like to put that out there that the, it did take a little bit to charge. So um, I haven't done any kind of deep electrical testing on it, but just set that expectation and I'll be testing it out over the next couple weeks. And of course, when I go to Africa, um, I'll be taking uh, a bunch of these, probably uh, four or five of these with me. And I'm gonna actually be trying different batteries while in the mirror to see kind of what the performance uh, life is like in the field when it really matters. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and for checking this out. If you're in the market for these kind of batteries, I'll put a link in the description below to go find these on Amazon. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not getting paid or sponsored by this company to make these batteries. Um, I've just run across them, wanted to make a video and share it with you. Anyway, if you like this comment, do me a favor, like this video, uh, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with everything that we are putting out and crush the subscribe button if you want to be a part of the channel and help support us as we make these videos for the internet and the community at large. Anyway, we hope you're doing well. We hope you're staying safe and we'll see you in the next one.